Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. And we're going to use a brownie mix, but we're going to jazz it up by doing, um, um, we're doing a peanut butter um, topping on it. And then on top of that, we're going to do um, some different toppings. I think we're going to do like crushed uh, pretzels. Are you going to do anything else or just all crushed pretzels? Yeah, we're going to do a caramel. Uh, we're also going to do a caramel on top. So. This is something really, really easy that anybody could do technically. I mean, it's just very, very quick. You don't need a mixer or anything. So, you just take yourself a box mix and follow the directions on the box. The only difference that we did versus what's on the box is the box called for water and we use buttermilk. That's it. So, we're going to put our egg in. our oil that it called for and you're going to bake this whatever type of pan you put put it in it has various sizes whatever your box mix says we, we chose the nine by nine um and you will bake it according to the box ours right now the type of pan we used um we will do it for 26 minutes i think um and you can use a non-stick or a glass pan. That's just going to be what you judge on the back of the box, what you judge your temperature of your oven to be at. So the pan we're using, we can, we can do it at 325 instead of 350. But it's all according to the box directions is how you make your brownies. So I'm going to stir this up real good and get it all mixed together. And then put it in the pan I got set in here. I sprayed the pan with some non-stick spray. And we're gonna bake this according to the directions. Then we'll pull it out. While it's baking though, we're gonna mix our peanut butter mixture, which is peanut butter and confectioner sugar and some other stuff. I don't remember all the ingredients. We're, we're gonna be pulling that here in a second. To mix it up and then we'll show you what we got I just poured my little fudge packet that came in the brownie mix that I had and I'm gonna just mix that in and then I'm gonna pour it into the pan this out I'm going to put it in the oven at 325 because of the type of pan I'm using and I'm going to bake it for 26 minutes to 29 minutes I believe. 
All right, we'll be back shortly to show you the rest of the ingredients that we're pulling together right now. And we're gonna put it all together. Hey y'all, so I am gonna make the peanut butter to go on top of the brownies. And I just crushed up a bunch of pretzels. So on top of that, I'm gonna go into the stove and make um, some caramel. of our caramel that we have made on the screen before. So I will also put that in the description box below because that's made on the stove top. It doesn't need to be recorded because we have a video of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this. Now this is similar to the recipe that I make when I do my um, Reese's cups. Mm -hmm. So you do it with the confectioner's sugar. You wanna use this to scrape them? Yeah, I'm gonna. A little be a little easier to get it all out yeah yeah so this is this is very similar to the amounts of what I do when I do the Reese's cup so and pretty soon because um, Easter is coming we're going to do some Reese's peanut butter eggs also too that'd be good so we'll I give you that. some ideas about some candy that you can make mm -hmm. and we're also talking about too doing some eggs Easter eggs Easter eggs some, give some you ideas Give you some ideas about doing some Easter egg stuff. So it, your your Easter egg. There's all kinds of uh, new things that people do with eggs and stuff. But honestly, we'll do a lot of research and figure out some unusual, easy ways to do your yeah. eggs with your kids. So we can make um say, make it a lot of fun. Right. You know, because that is a time when kids. That is a, um a really a time where kids should be interacting. With with the whole family as far as right as doing some kind of crafts mm -hmm. all right so i put in um a half a cup of butter half a cup of butter is actually a one whole stick so and a whole cup of butter would be two sticks mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and cream this up and we'll be right back guys. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. So I just finished creaming up the peanut butter mixture. We're getting the brownies out of the oven. So we're gonna put this on there when it's still pretty hot. So it kind of just melts on the top and then we're gonna sprinkle our crushed up pretzels on top. I'm going in the kitchen now to make the caramel sauce. So I'll show you what it looks like when we get ready to assemble everything. We'll be hey right back. Hey y'all, our brownies are out of the oven. They look very, very pretty. We have our crushed pretzels here and I'm going to just put a dollop of brownies on here and then I'll spread it around until it's all Because this is very, um, it will stick. I'm gonna spray my offset spatula with a little bit of cooking spray. That way it'll help it where it won't stick to the peanut butter. And you don't wanna be too rough with it because your, your brownie is very soft and you could actually peel the top layer of the brownie off.
All righty. That looks pretty good. We probably have about a quarter of an inch worth of peanut butter across the top of that. So that's cool. So I'm going to just crumble these up all over. And then I'm actually going to take and press them into it a little bit so that they stay in place. You can put anything on top of this that you want. You, you could even put a different type of, instead of peanut butter, you could have done something different. Um, you could make it into like a s'mores with some marshmallow cream and some crumbled up graham cracker. There's so many ways you could have went with this. this and just press down so that they stay in place. It also will help me to see if I need to add a little more pretzels because I'll see if there's gaps of peanut butter and I do see some. Okay, now all we have to put on it is the caramel when that's done and then we will set this to the side and get it ready to serve with our meal tonight. We'll see you when we come back with the caramel sauce. Hey y'all, we've got our caramel made here. I'm going to take a spoon and just drizzle it across. You got to do this pretty fast because of it will harden up. Hey y'all, so I already added the caramel that, that we made to this and I want to put a drizzle of some uh, chocolate on there so I'm just doing a little bit of Hershey's. Alright, that looks good. Alright, we're going to put this up and it's going to set and be ready for us to have for dessert tonight with our meal. We're going to enjoy us a nice amped up brownie. So we'll see you soon.
Elsie. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe.